Okay, man, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys a quick video about this. I'm gonna try and hurry up. I know I'm gonna pause stuff, you know, that way I can, won't be skipping so much. But, so this is what I did. Um, no, yeah, I guess it's fine. I'll just go here to Adrenaline. Just, just to install Adrenaline with your phone to the, to the Vita. And just so you know, I don't have any games on here. See, it says there are no games right now. Okay, just showing you that. So, what you do is just go to go to Vita Shell, go to Start. Um, this is just in case you got games that you can't not find on the page. And what you do is just go to UXO. Okay, sorry, man, I'm on the, I'm on my camera phone. Um. Go down to let me see. Let me check in here first. I gotta check for something. Thought I moved it. Hmm, weird. So I moved I moved this this right here, this thing right here, but I guess it's here too. The six six O B P P. Um anyways that's I might make another video for that, but you need that file in case the adrenaline doesn't want to work or if it doesn't want to install. But anyways, just want to show you, you go here, go to ISO, which is where my games are at, and I don't have any games. Okay. Um, let me check this set plug in and see what's in here because there's nothing. Okay. So pretty much it. Just do that. Um, you go here, hit the select button. And you got this thing that says FTP server. It's not it's not running. So which means it's running wirelessly right now, free to send files. So what you do, just go here under start, hit the start button, and make sure you go right here, FTP, hit the X button. So you can switch it because yours will be probably be on USB, but just leave it on FTP. Um that means that it'll send it wirelessly. Okay. And then stay here. And then just hit the select button so you can be back on here again. Make sure you remember that number right there. I mean, you don't you don't have to write it down because when you do it on your phone, then you'll see it on on your on your Vita. Anyways, go right here. Go to um, uh, Play Store and download this app, FTP Cafe. Just put FTP Cafe and says client. That one install it. And what you do, you're gonna make your Vita run with this thing. So, anyways, once you download it, just make sure, you know, just remember that your Vita is still on this, you know. Let me switch that. Okay, make sure, you know, just so you know that it's on there. So, once you download it, go here to the FTP Cafe. Okay, right here. And this, this is the PSP Vita's file, see. Shows adrenaline on here and stuff. Okay. And then you go to PSP MEU, which is right here. And, and all you're doing, you're pretty much just, just following. I don't even know who this person is. Probably a scammer or something. Anyway, so you go right here. You go to ISO. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to send a file right here on the ISO. Okay. Oh, you know what? You want to, never mind. Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me start you from the beginning. I forgot about this thing. Um. Okay. So you're here. Yours not going to say Vita. You can put whatever you want. I just put Vita. And then go to edit right here. And remember that 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 192.168, you put it right here. So just put that. You don't have to put, if you look on here, it shows, let me get this thing focused. See, this one has 1337. You don't have to do that one. Just do those numbers and dot one two three, and that's it. Okay. And then... What you do is you just put that number right here. Make sure it says FTP mode. Uh, make sure you put profile, whatever name you want. I mean, you're just going to use it on this. That's all you're going to use it on. Make sure all this is checked up. And then more properties. Oh, there it is. So see, it says right here, go to more properties and put 1337. Mine says 1337. Yours might say the same thing. Maybe not. But there's the 1337 right there see see that's what that is 
I almost forgot about that step. So you put that one three three seven on there on the on on their properties. Okay, and then hit save. That's it, and then you hit connect. Now let's see. Let me let me just to show you. You know, I'll just put. I won't put anything here. I'll just put save. Um, I always put zero save. Okay, so if I'm gonna connect, it won't connect. See, because it's trying to find that port. So I'll go to edit more properties one three three seven save connect now it's connected now it's connected to your to your Vita right now. So what you do is since you download your games on here on your phone, put it on a certain file. I just put PSP file, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the game right now. Um, I'll just pass a small game. Let me see. Well, I'll just put this one here. Undead Knights. You put a check mark on it. Okay. And then what you do, I already have it under, you know, see, I don't have it here yet, but so you go to local and find out what game you want to send. So I'll send Undead Knights, then hit the remote button. The remote means it's the Vita. And then find the UXO. And then find the one where, uh, find the PSP MEU, which is right here. Press it. Go to ISO, because ISO means PSP. I don't know why it says PSP, but I guess PSP means PlayStation 1. And what you do, just go to ISO. You're here now. And all you do is just go back to local. And then hit upload. And now it's going to send the file over there. It's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it, but. Anyways, I was trying to make an earlier video, but what I did was when I hit cancel and Oh, I don't think I can even get out. Oh, I can't get out. What I was trying to do a video, I was trying to send another another um a small game and I hit cancel and it screwed up my Vita, which I don't know why it wasn't working anymore. I was almost done with the video. But it screwed up and what it was is that since I had two of these um let's say Space Invader, I had two of these. One of them said 146 megabytes, the other one said 50 megabytes. So what happened, it was trying to read both of them and it screwed up. So what I had to do was just delete that Space Invaders game, the one that got halfway downloaded, delete that one, and that's what it was. But what happened was I deleted all of them, which I only had like four games. So I, didn't, I didn't put all these games on there. All I do, I just put the games here on my phone and then I check if the game works. And then from there, if it works, then I just send it to the Vita. So, but anyways, this time it'll work. It, it should work. Um, so now you'll see this part it says USA or Japan or whatever. I just make them short. See, like this one says extreme, it says dot ISO. I just leave them like that. This one I just put, it says USA. But I think what I'll do, I'll do it right now. Once this thing gets downloaded, I'll do it right now. I'll delete that. That way, see if it works. Because some of them say like Japan and Europe and Asia and US. And you don't need to have any of that stuff. Just as long as it says on the game and then dot ISO. And that's pretty much it. So, this game is pretty cool, this Undead Knights. I played it a long time ago on the PSP when I bought it. When I bought the game a long time ago. It was like 5 or 10 bucks. But, anyways, uh, I decided to download it here on my phone. And go to that website, download them, download the games and stuff. Or you can do it on the, you can even do it on the Sony, on the Vita. Which, I guess I could show you how to do it too, you know. That was easier too, but... For me, I prefer downloading it, downloading it here. I don't know why. Just so I can play it on here if I do. And anyway, so it's done. Hit OK. So now you can go to remote and there's the game. Okay. So all you do is just exit out of all this. Okay. And exit out of that. And then go to your... Go to your Vita. It turned off. Turn it on. Let's see. Take that off. There's that. Just hit, just hit zero for cancel. You don't need that anymore. And then go to UXO and go to go to the game there and then go to ISO. And there's the game. Pretty easy. So I kind of wish I was able to hook it up to my phone and then hook it up to the Vita with the USB cable. It would have been a lot better, but it won't let you. Anyways, just X out of there. So now what you do is just go down. Try adrenaline. Hopefully it'll work this time. I think that's what I did. Was I? It had those two games on there. So um, we'll see right now. Then um, sorry, I'm in bed, man. My freaking I had that. My legs fractured and stuff. So 
but it's fine it'll heal up so then you go here click on it and there's the game see i'll press it just to make sure it is going to go but that's what it was i had two files so i was trying to read both of them and it screwed up so then the beta the playstation didn't the adrenaline app didn't know what to do but anyways i'll just put that on and see if it goes which it should go yeah it's going so like i said you can download it that way you can send files to that and stuff just press a or start see so it works start button damn this is a old ass game but anyways see it works but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna exit out of this i think you press it once yeah exit out of it and then you go back to the psp menu screen um pretty much it and then you just hit hit the playstation button twice fast you get out of it another way you can download games is which is the easiest way to do it you know you can do it here too but it's only if you don't if you can't find the game just go right here on the pkg and then this one you can download all the beta games on here see that's every single game on here just push the button and downloads it so what i'm going to show you is to hit the triangle button and now see right here it tells you psp games so you can download just psp you want to find a psp game hit it and these are all psp games see so like let's like say you want to find a game go here on the triangle go here to search um right there search and I'll put that in Dead Nights. Ugh, can't even spell. Let's see, try it again. Jeez, I cannot spell right now. Okay, I'll just put Undead. And hit the green button for enter. And there it is. Undead night. So you can even go there and just hit the button and downloads it. The only problem on this is that when you hit the download button, you can't get out of it. You have to wait until it's finally until it gets downloaded all the way through. That's only in the PSP games though. Um if you do it on the Vita, you don't have to do that. You can just download a game. I'll just go. Um let's see what game. Oh, I think I gotta go to refresh. No, I think it's show games, I think. Yeah, see, so it shows all the games. So what you do is you 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 press a button to which game you want to download. And then it'll download it. And then what you do, you can just hit this button and it'll, it'll exit out. Exit out and then just, you know, do that. And then what'll happen, it'll come up right here. On the top corner, you push the button and it'll tell you right here that it's downloading something. So... Um, pretty much it man then once you once you done once you download it go down here to the very bottom because it's going to be down there and then you'll see the game around here for the vita and if it's the psp you have to go into into this oh geez i hit the wrong button we we're pushing the freaking controller anyways i'll be using my phone you go in here and then you find the game in here under that place where you downloaded the game and stuff but anyways um just showing the video let's see can i get out okay and we're just showing that that part of the video about that um but yeah pretty much it if you if you have a if you do it if you download vita games they're all gonna be on here it won't have a separate folder it'll just it won't be it won't be on the adrenaline it'll just be all in here so it'll show every single game on here um pretty much it pretty easy you know i like it doing it this way with my phone we can just down, uh, send the file to that, and they can just leave the place. They can leave the Vita plugging in, charging. I can leave my phone charging. You know, I could do that, or I can just plug it into the computer. And if you want to, and plug it into the computer, it goes faster. But it won't go as. I mean, it it will go f twice as fast. You know. But one thing I was gonna say: if you do it on the computer, make sure that when you do, just make sure you hit the select button.
no, not the select button. You hit, no, well, I'll hit exit out. You hit the start button and make sure you put it under USB mode. If you don't put it under USB mode, it's not going to work. So make sure you put it under USB mode. So, but yeah, pretty much it, man. Hopefully you guys are able to download a bunch of games and stuff and have fun with it. So, but yeah, anyways, um, thanks and have a good day.